I'm coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot.
go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, hey, everyone! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, you to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from, from this day forward. For, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death, and to death to us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go Gorka! Gorka! falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't have long. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I feel like that stupid bunker all by myself. I 
Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sin? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it, don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down with me. Just imagine thinking about the man for so long. A great plan. I'd also like to see this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. Hurra! Stefan, will you play that song? This is crazy. This is crazy. pie. Это земля была нашей, по 
Пока мы не увязли в борьбе Она умрет, если будет ничьей Пора вернуть эту землю в себе А кругом горят факелы Это сбор всех погибших частей И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов Строят планы на наших детей Нас сражали под звуки марши Нас пугали тюрьмой но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers <laughs> or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta and special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. Ah, you said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad. Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. Two kids! Yes! Two children! Two children! Two children. Uh, one more <coughs> toast! To the new colony! May it grow and prosper! To the new to colony! The new colony. <laughs> To having more women join it. <laughs> <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. 
Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! So smooth. Oh, Stepan, could you give us that one? By Boris. My pleasure. Yeah. 